Because a lot of people want to hear about what the fuck happened with LAG. Listen, let's talk. Let's talk about LAG first and foremost. Uh, I feel terrible for everybody affected by layoffs. You hate to see people losing jobs, especially in the esports space. Uh, I saw people that moved there on like short notice, and they're, they're, they were two days in, and next thing you know, the whole company is laid off. Very, very rarely do you see an entire company uh, lay off their entire workforce like that. So my heart goes out to everybody at the guard and working for LAG, and because I mean that's just terrible. I mean. Someone like Carly Bot, who I know makes great work. I've been seeing some of her tweets. Um, so I just feel terrible because they actually had, they had a really good staff. Like, they had a really good... Yeah, uh, they actually... So they had a... Do you remember George? Did you ever meet George? Zobe? I know Zobe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I met Zobe. Yeah, he was over there as well. So so for anyone that doesn't know what happened, people that, are, that come into esports from outside of esports... If they don't let other people that know how esports works as a business run shit, it usually turns to shit. Yeah. And well, also, I don't think this. I don't, a lot of money. But I don't think that. Do you think that's what happened in this situation? Do you think they just like weren't letting them be hands on and like it kind of just no. fell apart? I think they spent so much money mm. that. They could like it was impossible to get a return on investment. Like I, I heard their Valorant roster is insanely expensive, like much more expensive than anybody would think. Well, not not to mention they like the guard. They kind of built like a star-studded team. Like they built like what people were calling like the Avengers of like creative teams. Like they, they really built like the a Avengers. Really huge, yeah, like you know what I mean. Like they built a really good staff, but when you do that. And you recruit like sports as a whole right now. There are, I mean, I don't want to say zero teams that are profitable, but dude, there's like, it is so hard to be profitable in esports. And I feel like what kind of happened here was they spent all of that money expecting a quick turnaround, a quick payoff, and they weren't seeing it. They were seeing shit in the red a lot. And it probably just made them like freak out. They were probably just like, they're, What's happening with our investment? Nothing is nothing positive is coming from it. Yeah. And I mean, I feel like that's the root of the issue right there is that they come, like I said, from a very traditional business background where they come to sports, Rams, Denver Nuggets, I mean, Colorado Avalanche. Uh, the, I know they own the Arsenal. Like they own a lot of heavy players in sports and like. Aren't the Cronkies fucking Walmart? Yeah, well, the Cronky. So from what I'm pretty sure it is. Or am I tweaking? Um, sure. Do you want do you want to read along with the class or do you want to read it to yourself? Uh you want me to read it or do you want to read it? It's Dude, we're, are we going paragraph by paragraph like we're back in English class? Yeah, yeah, you got the first one. <laughs> I'm gonna all right. According to multiple social media posts Wednesday afternoon, a large number of employees have been laid off from Cronky Sports and Entertainment owned esports arm, the guard. Multiple employees announced that they had been let go, some of whom were recently hired and relocated to Los Angeles after being laid off at other esports organizations in December and earlier this year. See, that is that is the one of the biggest things that's fucked up. Is that people just moved their lives and now they're beat. Well, there was yeah, I mean, think about th put yourself in their in their shoes for a second. Like you get asked to move, you're probably really excited, you think that you have a great opportunity in front of you. You relocate to LA, a beautiful place to be. I mean, and expensive. Other I mean, than taxes and property value, but LA, everything other than financially, 